Okay, guys. <clears throat> I was talking to somebody today, and the question of emotions came up. And she was saying that um, she's very emotional, and that she just uh, she couldn't control the emotions. That that was just how she was, and she was born that way, and there's nothing she could do about it. And she was talking about different people who she had found out about or had heard a couple of techniques on dealing with these bad emotions. Now, these are negative emotions. And it was things like somebody said, when you're having the emotion, then talk to the emotion, feel for it in your body, love it, ascend it, love, and it will dissipate. And then somebody else said, well, um, every time you have that, negative emotion, stop and identify it, feel it, feel into the moment, and then put it in a box inside yourself. Lift up, open the box, and put it in to this box. And I guess at some maybe monthly or arbitrary time when you feel like the box is full, then you send that box with all of those emotions to the central sun and ask the central sun to neutralize um, that energy, either that or change it to unconditional love and send it out to uh, people who needed it or something like that. And she wanted me to answer, answer that question. So I told her this, that if you are going to 5D, then... You don't need to love your your negative feelings. You need, don't need to put them in a box. All you've got to do is remember and start to believe that you are a creator God, that you create your universe moment to moment. All of it is your doing. All of it, whether it's consciously or unconsciously, every single bit of it, is your creation and you are responsible for it. So whether or not you unconsciously um, created the bad guy who was in your life or if it was a contract where you went up to your bud and you said, okay, I want to have this kind of experience, but I need you to do this in order to have that experience, would you do it? Whether or not it, it's, it's that kind of thing, whichever kind of thing it is, those emotions are that the emotions that you're having around the uh, situation that is in your life was ultimately created or accepted by you. You are responsible for all of it, not anybody else, just you. You're the one who, who asked for it or agreed upon it, whether it was in the moment or a week, next week or you agreed to it before you even come down here then it still is your creation. Nobody can do anything against anyone's will. So it is your creation. So once you realize all of that, then when the sadness or the despair or the anger comes up within you, then, and I have very uh, recent recent uh, experience in this matter because I did it whenever you get that feeling then you stop and you look at that feeling and you you find out what the feeling is exactly why you're having it try to figure out how you got to the point where you were feeling that feeling and you do all of that faster than you can send a message to the universe and you uh, simply let it go as a part of the game. And it's easy to do that whenever you believe you're a creator God and that uh, you're creating moment to moment. It's easy to just drop it. To just drop it. Now she was talking about how uh, people had said that if you don't deal with them, uh, then if you don't do something with them, some kind of chant or something with them, then you'll just keep repeating it, repeating it until you get that lesson learned. 
Now, if you believe that that's the way things work, then that's exactly the way things are going to work with you. But for those of you who are star seeds and are, are going to 5D and up, then what you get expert at is not um, changing that energy frequency, that set of frequencies, into something else altogether, which may seem quite challenging to you, or you can simply say, I'm a creator God, I'm a star seed, I came to do this job, I can look around at all these people, all these things, all these activities, and just smile, nod my head, walk on through to 5D, um, and admire them for the, the, the games that they are playing. Because it's just a game. It's just a game. Everybody's just playing roles. And nobody can do anything in your universe, in your timeline, in your time, space, reality, moment to moment, unless you agree to it or ask for it, consciously or unconsciously. Okay? So that is the way that you get out of those repetitive, negative, what you would call negative vibrations. You can squash them all just wicked fast. By just simply knowing that you are creator God, you are creating this and always have been, what you are perceiving, how you interact with all the other creator gods. And once that esta that's established, well, uh, catch the sorrow, go, okay, that was part of that game in relation to this, but I'm going to 5D, so, eh, don't care. Not worth my time right now. I'm moving on. Does that make sense? So then I was talking about how she was talking about how emotional that she was and, and some other things that were involved in the conversation. And basically, I reminded her, and she suggested that I remind you guys, that the universe does not speak English. The universal machine, so to speak, that is in place to answer your commands doesn't speak English or French or Spanish. None of those languages. You are communicating with that very powerful machine that has been set into place uh, using the law of attraction it will answer you according to the vibrations that you send out. So if you send out vibrations of anger, that goes to the universe. The universe immediately says, ah, got it, you want more anger. And it sends you more experiences that make you angry. That's how it works. That's how it works. Now, I have heard people, and really many more women than men, who say, well, I'm just an emotional being. There's nothing I can do about it. I can't stop it. And to that, I say, well, of course you can stop it. Of course you can stop it. You are not some weak, inconsequential being. You are a creator God. You could do anything. And everything. And you certainly can take the time whenever you are in an emotional tizzy. You can notice that you're in an in emotional tizzy. At that point, you stop everything. And you say, hold up. Let's put a pause on this right now. Hold on a second. You say, let's let's put an emotional pause on this right now. Uh, I know that I am right now sending a message to the universe. And what state am I in? I am in a state of anger. Well, I have no desire to have any more situations that brings me to this point of anger. And as you know, the message you send out to the universe is exponential. So it's you send it out, the universe will send it back three times as much. Is whatever you sent out. So not only can you get a hold of those emotions, 
but you will need to in order to be a a conscient conscious conscious creator god you must get a hold of them being emotional is not a good enough excuse for uh, creating a life full of things that you don't want that keep repeating over and over and over again all for the excuse that you just can't do anything about it because you are you're emotional you're an emotional being you're an emotional person okay well that's how you communicate with the other side so you must get a hold of this uh, conversation that you're having with the other side if you want to stop repeating the same thing over and over doing the same um, getting the same results over and over and over you're doing the same thing over and over get the same results bringing you to the same situation because you are um, you're vibrating the same way so let's use mad uh, somebody makes you mad you blow up you scream you holler you sue them you aren't their friend anymore whatever you stomp away then the universe sends back three more events that make you mad or it sends you one event that it makes you three times as mad three you know as far as in one moment a lot more powerful madness madness and so, because you're an emotional person, you can't do anything of, about it, of course. So, you, you will feel the emotion. And, of course, you've now sent another message to the universe. And it just keeps going and going and going. And I was talking to her and I said, you know, uh, I think it's wonderful that you're an emotional person. But I am absolutely not buying that you can't control that emotion. And you must, if you're going to communicate with the universe via the law of attraction, via your vibration, you must vibrate the way you want your life to be. You must vibrate, you must be peace for there to be peace on the planet. You must be happy on the inside first before there is happiness all around the planet. You get what I'm saying? So when uh, everybody talks to me about being an emotional person and uh, this and that and everything along those lines, they never talk about the positive emotions. You know, I never hear that. I never hear that. I always hear people, you know, pretty much martyr. Oh, well, I don't have any choice. I am just an emotional person and there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, woe is me. Well, yes, there is something to do about it. And when you're tired enough of the crap that keeps happening to you and getting worse and worse, when you're tired enough about that, you will stop it. You will stop it. And once you've stopped it, you'll never go back. You'll never go back. Just like, uh, uh, you know, if I just start to put my toe in the water uh, in one of those lower emotions, I just pull back way, way back the other direction, so to speak. Because I realize that I'm talking to the universe and I have no, zero, absolutely not interest in having the universe send me three times whatever it is negative that I'm sending out. But if you are indeed an emotional person, well then let's just flip the script a little bit. Why don't you be an emotional person on the good vibrations, the good emotions? So instead of getting caught up in this circle, circle, circle of pain, agony, despair, anger, hatred, instead of doing that, why don't you ramp yourself up when it comes to love, joy, peace, unconditional love, cherishing, Okay, And I guarantee you, even if you are an emotional person, if you start doing what I suggest, then it will 
uh, when you're you're angry, you pull back. You recognize you're angry, and you pull back and start with little angers, not one of your big blowouts. Start with the little one, so that you can identify it and you can work with it. And you can say, "Oh, okay. Well, I'm angry because he did this, and that triggered me from something else that he did that I have never gotten over." Okay, got it. But this is just a game. I'm a creator God. I allowed that to happen. Cool beans. Now we're moving on to something else, something better for me. So I choose, because I am a creator God and an, an adult and an adult human, I choose to not feel anger anymore. That I'm going to uh, make myself a story if necessary. Make, make up a story that get bad is the guy just uh, found out that he's dying of cancer and there's nothing anyone can do about it. And he's got a brand new wife. And she's pregnant with a baby on the way. Okay? So, watch those, those statements like that, like, Oh, well, I am just so emotional. I always have been. There's nothing I can do about it. No matter what you say, Naya, it doesn't matter. I do not believe this, so I'm going to blow up. And if you're not ready to be a, a creator God, or you are willing to be a creator God, sort of, but you cannot wrap your head around everything else that I've said, then you're probably going to stay in the fourth dimension. And the fourth dimension is huge. And you can do a lot of figuring things out in the fourth dimension. Okay? So, what I'm saying to you now is whenever you say that you're emotional like that, and you use it as an excuse to not control or monitor your vibrations to create the universe that you want. If you're going to do all of that, then maybe for now you're not quite ready for the mad dash to 5D because you really need to understand these concepts that you create everything. You are creator God and so is everyone else. Which leads to a place where telepathy is done openly and easily because no one's afraid of anything anymore. That you can see everything about your neighbor or a serial killer and love them just as much as you do in their creative God, creator God state standing in front of you. Okay, does that make sense? So, emotional people doesn't matter why, how, what, when you got there to become and to be the adult um, emotional person. But I'm telling you that you are sending out orders to the troops for them to do things in the world around you based on what you have said you wanted and it will be done. It will be done. So rather than try to uh, take all those feelings and put them in a box and send them to the central sun or um, put it in a bag and hand it to your, uh, your psych psychiatrist or what, whatever it is that you were going to do in order to deal with these emotions, I would say in 4D the best thing to do is to realize that this is a game, that you're a creator God. Once you really, really understand that you are a creator God and you have uh, been in cahoots with the people that have been creating around you and even the creator himself, that you can look at it and go, oh man, good job, cool job, this is awesome. This is awesome. Right? Does that make sense? 
Okay? Alrighty then. And uh, I guess that's it for me. For now, huge hugs. I love y'all so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye now.